so how is everyone doing today? I know it's kind of a, a mid-afternoon stream. We got, you know, it's 4 o'clock. A lot of people waiting in chat, so, uh, you know, I'm glad everyone's, you know, tuning in to check out this process. So, I just want to kind of go over what this stream is, what the stream isn't going to be. Um, and yeah, so today we are going to be making a whale shark. Uh, you know, kind of a famous type of fish out there, the world's largest fish, in fact. And uh, we're going to try to make it into an uh, animal in Planet Zoo. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any animals that are close to a whale shark in-game already that I could just modify. So instead, we are going to have to do this the hard way and manually go into ZBrush, which, if we look, I already have pulled up. We are going to have to sculpt it. Sculpt it, retopologize it, texture it, etc., all manually. So that's going to be kind of a pain. However, um, you know, if fingers crossed things go well, I can slap this thing once it's retopologized and stuff and put on a caiman, uh, blow up the size of the caiman, and it should move like a whale shark. Now, the only issue I see is technically it's probably going to move really fast because the caiman obviously moves uh, quite fast. So I want to make sure that's a thing. I can lower the music. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, take that into consideration. So I could probably actually just lower it a little bit here as well. So hopefully that music won't be as as obnoxious anymore. Um, but let me know if you know there is an issue or something. So um, how is everyone doing? So who who do we got in the chat? We, I do see a lot of new people. So I will say that. So, uh, we have a lot of, uh, long-time favorites, you know, uh, obviously my moderator Crocs is here, Andy, uh, long-time Lion Rider Pride member, uh, so he's got the little silver lion next to his name, but yeah, who do we got? So we have Level Wolf, brand new modder, I checked out some of their mods recently, I, they did a great job on the New Guinea Singing Dog and the Red Wolf, and I actually think they made one other mod recently, if I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe... I want to say it was another dog species of some kind. I don't know if the Mexican wolf was them, but uh, it was definitely, uh, they did another mod recently. And so they've been doing a really great job with the new species. Uh, Leaf is here, great modder as well. Uh, another member of the Lion Rider family. Uh, then we have Patrick is here. We have uh, Surrey Gaming, Elites with a lot of eyes. <laughs> uh, Okapi John. Uh, baby fire, I think that's how you say it. I love your zoos as always. Um, I see Minty in the chat, Cameron, uh, Primal Gamer, Panzer, Renee. So, yeah, a lot of new names here. Muhammad, ZZ, gotta love ZZ. ZZ, formerly known as the, the animal guy, but uh, now is the plant guy. Uh, <laughs> but you know. So we are going to be working today. Uh, Brody, Philly Sports, they're here as always, you know, uh, gotta love them. But yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's kind of get started. So the first thing we got to do is I am going to be using Z-Spheres. So what are Z-Spheres? Z-Spheres are this thing. So they are basically a way of just sculpting out a basic shape using nothing but spheres. So as an example, uh, we want to do this. So I want to essentially just try to grab the side profile here and as you can see i have a little reference of the whale shark just because i wanted to get the dimensions of the whale shark correct and um so yeah we can just kind of start so we'll just kind of go from the beginning to the end and then let's shrink some stuff so obviously whale sharks are very very large creatures and so we need to make sure that our, you know, creature is appropriately scaled. So I don't have a top uh, reference image, and so we're going to kind of eyeball that. I'm not going to lie. And so um, that'll be a thing. Oh, I'm not crazy about that. I'm not crazy about the uh, way it's scaling. So I'm just going to be adding a couple of little... Uh, markers to the actual uh, form of the whale or uh, the shark I should say and just get the approximate 
shapes down. So as an example, right here in the middle of the torso, it's kind of a bit fatter. So here we go. It's a bit wider, and then it'll shrink a little bit. The face is another thing. So the face is a lot smaller than the rest of the body. So we want it to be essentially that size and then kind of go down a little bit. So we'll do this. So that's about right, I'd say. So now let's do the tail really quick. Because that's another, you know, defining characteristic of this thing. So let's just try to bring everything back the way it was. That's about right. Uh, so let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, I won't understand anything about the shaping. I just want to see how it turns out. Yeah, like I said, um, it's... This, so what I wanted to say before, this stream, if you're here to see some actual planet zoo or anything, might not see that. So, fair warning, you might not be getting actual planet zoo this stream. Um, and the, the reason behind that is just the fact of, um, since I am working on this, it's obviously going to, um just be the sculpture portion of it so let's see so essentially we have the same proportions as a plane um so that's about right so we'll do that we'll maybe move the fins a little bit and i might want to modify that just a little bit move these fins a little bit down and now to do the dorsal fin really quick so we might want to just throw that sort of like that it's about right and again we're just kind of eyeballing it right now we're going to get the the exact proportions um down in a little bit but for now that's about right so we just want to lift that up so that's essentially where our dorsal fin's gonna go. So what we're gonna wanna do is now um, actually pull up some more whale shark reference images. And I need some top down images because I need to make sure that the body is the right width. Because as you can see, a whale shark is quite wide. <laughs> so. Um, the current state is not going to be super ideal, so let's just uh, get that. So, just by previewing what I have so far, I think this is actually pretty good. So I can probably get rid of my Z-Sphere thing. So I've now turned this into a actual model, and we are now going to do the top proportions. So, I'm actually using my Cintiq right now. So if anyone isn't aware what a Cintiq is, it's basically a drawing tablet. And we are going to be uh, just kind of kind of just nudging some stuff so that it's all essentially the right size. So as an example, let's get the dorsal fin oriented properly. So we're going to smooth that out a little bit, kind of move that. This fin needs to kind of wrap around just a little bit. Now the actual dorsal fin, we want to kind of, once again, just nudge into place the right way, uh, get ease really quick, just these little fins on the side, nudge the front of the face, and that's pretty good. So let's, if I can, I want to just get rid of this image that I pulled up. So let's see. 
Guys, make sure to join the Discord. Yep, uh, the link should be in the description of this video if you guys want to join the Discord. If you're if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, I make modding content for Planet Zoo, soon to be Prehistoric Kingdom. Um, and we are just going to be, uh, we have a good time here. I have a, a few little series on my channel um, that, you know, cover a bunch of stuff. My real-life zoo recreation of Roger Williams Park Zoo. That's quite popular. And uh, a few other mods. And uh, speaking of mods, I want to shout out today, uh, the Eurasian Lynx mod is now available. So this was originally created by Merigi, probably one of the top modders of, in the community by far. And so they they made, uh, obviously, this mod, which everyone adores. The Lynx mod is absolutely gorgeous. Um, similarly, they also made the Mountain Lion or Cougar mod. Um, not the one that we showcased on, in my 21 uh, New Species video. This is a much older replacement version of the Cougar. They're actually trying to update it now. I'm going to be working with them. But since I absolutely love this mod, I went ahead and I was like, listen... With your permission, can I just update it? Because I wanted to make it a new species. And so that is available. If you go on Nexus, you can get this as a new species. Male, female, juvenile, thumbnail, Zoopedia, the whole nine yards. Looks great. Definitely recommend this mod. So you can check that out. Like I said, um, that is going to be available. So uh, remove reference image. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to remove uh, control N. Nope, that didn't work. Nice. Uh, clearing the canvas. Um, image plane. Texture. I'm just wondering, like, if I were to... Oh, that ain't right. I accidentally changed the color of the whale shark model. So, oh, this might do it. So I might be able to just literally, if I want, change the opacity to nothing. Yeah, that, that should, that'll work. So the fact that it's at literally nothing right now, that, that'll be totally fine for me. So as you can see, I have this weird, gross little noodle, and it makes no sense. Uh, yo, Nick, speaking of mods, was it confirmed that we can use other mods as a base to make other... I'll have to get back to you on that because I'm still not positive. But again, I've been having a lot of issues myself. I think it should be possible, but I don't want to confirm or deny anything because I technically haven't done it su successfully yet myself. But I I do believe it is possible because I think the issue is like like I said, Jesse does everything, and then we you know obviously it seems stupid when we're like oh. Uh, yeah, so it didn't work for us. <laughs> but, um, so let's see. So let's get a picture of a whale shark top down. Just because I want to get the dimensions right. So, here we go. So, first things first. Uh, we need this to be much, much wider. So, there we go. <laughs> now we're getting into whale shark territory. So... Let's just do this, do this. I want to kind of round out that shape a bit. Um, that's all fine. I actually don't mind that so much. Now, the body does taper, so I will definitely take that into consideration. I'm doing such a, a, a like gross job right now at, like... <laughs> getting the whale shark proportions down but yeah you can it, it's it's a gross mess but you can vaguely make out that it's a whale shark um again our our final product is not going to look like this so don't worry if it's an absolute monstrosity of a model right now this is not what it's going to ultimately look like in the end um we'll thin out the tail a bit that's about right. Okay, that looks... That, that does look decent. So, like I said, I mean, the big thing is it looks absolutely terrifying right now. And that's because I kind of made it way too many polygons uh, right off the bat. So, what we're going to do is we are going to 
go into, where is it, geometry, and we're going to go to Z remesher. We're going to basically change the polygon count down to a more manageable size so that when I start smoothing it, it's going to look normal. It's going to look appropriate. So, as an example, now we have it down to 5,000. We can maybe even go lower. 3,000. And then, yes, now. Why does it not want to let me do anything? That's odd. It only wants me to grab stuff. I want to let me draw. Huh, that's odd. Ah, uh, the chewed up gum whale shark. Yeah, exactly. It's just. That's exactly what it looks like right now. Um, for some reason, it's, it's not letting me draw on the whale shark. So, give me a quick sec. I just want to do something, because I'm, I'm curious if this is like a thing that I accidentally messed with the settings of. Whale shark, chewed up. <laughs> We're going to save it, and then we are going to try to reload ZBrush really quick. So, we're going to load up a brand new instance of ZBrush, and then hopefully that'll be good. 105 people are... 108 now! What the heck? You guys really wanted to see a whale shark be made. Too bad this is what you're getting right now. It's just a piece of gum. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's definitely a thing. And yeah, I did see, uh, someone did do a really good Scimitar Oryx, so, you know, modding is definitely still blowing up. Like, don't get me wrong about that. This is definitely a thing. But I am glad, like, I'm glad that people are still interested in Planet Zoo content and stuff, because I know for a fact that was, like, a thing that I was taking into consideration earlier, was I'm seeing a lot of people doing PK stuff, almost too many. To where I'm like, there's probably like an empty void that's just like di like dying to get some Planet Zoo content. And um, I definitely like, you know, I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity when I can. So let's see really quick. So we're going to save this. We're going to call it Shoot Up Shark. And then we're going to try to open up. ZBrush again, and hopefully things will be better. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be good. PZ is the best. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is what I'm saying. Like, you know, because Leaf and I were briefly talking right before this. Because we actually, we were watching uh, uh, Beyond Drew TV's uh, live stream earlier. He was covering Prehistoric Kingdom. And I was going over how... Uh, relative to some of my other series, like Roger Williams or Mystic or whatever, um, my new PK series that I just started today, Sandstone Valley, is, uh, it's, it's, I don't want to say underperforming, but it's doing less than it normal, a, a video of Planet Zoo would at the same time. And I don't really have an issue with that. So my theory was because the game is, you know, new it, like, it's a brand new game, and yet no one can buy it themselves. It's going to be a thing that um, not a lot of people are interested in, for obvious reasons. Like, if you can't buy a game, do you really want to watch tutorials on, you know, a game that you can't play? <laughs> like, and so I think from that perspective... Um, yeah, there we go. Now I can finally, you know, do what I wanted before. <laughs> um, so let's change it over to Matt Cat Gray. So there we go. Now we're gonna fix up this chewed up bubblegum shark. There we go. But uh, yeah, so a lot of people like, for obvious reasons, can't buy the alpha right now. So they're like, okay, well we wanna, um, you know, not play, or we don't really wanna watch PK content for that reason. Cause if I can't play the game, why would I want you to cover it? So, from that perspective, I actually totally understand why um, people wouldn't be it as interested. And so, what I found very interesting was, uh, I asked Drew, I'm like, so, you know, 
what do you think from your perspective like how's the pk content been doing on your channel and he's like oh it's blowing up my channel it's doing phenomenal um and so i had a theory myself that even though content creators are saying it's doing phenomenal i don't think it is i think it might be a misnomer because of how excited they are for the game mixed with the engagement on things like twitter for PK is insane. I got a tweet the other day. I might actually pull it up. <laughs> Give me a sec. I know this is kind of like a, an a offhand thing, but um, so I, I tweeted this out on the first day I had PK, I think. Uh, and this tweet blew up. I've never had this many retweets or anything. And this was from a reply. So that that's the other thing. But this was the tweet. So if I, I pull this up really quick. So I just go one more screenshot, and I have a T-Rex on top of a Pride Rock that I built. And if you look, 504 likes, 67 retweets, three quote tweets. I never got those numbers from Planet Zoo. And so if uh, just looking strictly at this, right? Um, and then obviously I got retweeted by the PK Twitter. I got, you know shout it out. I got like, you know, a bunch of people like, you know, like linking this and it blowing up everywhere. And so just a tweet picture like this is doing phenomenal. So you would think that live streams and, uh, you know, other content like that would be doing just as well, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So my theory is, like I said, even though people are interested in the potential of prehistoric kingdom in the immediate future, since they don't see, you know, them Selves playing the game anytime soon or having access to the alpha or anything because it's no longer available they just are kind of okay waiting like there's no real incentive for anyone to kind of um you know try to you know enjoy the game or uh you know watch content for the game so you know comp compare and contrast that to planet zoo of course and most people at this point who want Planet Zoo own Planet Zoo. I, I would say that that is actually the case. And so they might not own, own all of the DLCs or something, but I think it's fair to say they likely own Planet Zoo at least. Um, and so from that perspective, you get you have a lot of people interested in that game and the kind of lack of videos lately due to the content creators on the PK hype train. And I can't, again, I, I've been on a roll with my predictions lately, and I gotta say I did call this. I A lot of people were telling me, Nick, this isn't going to be an issue, and I said, I promise you it will be. And from what I can tell, I'm right, again. Because I made this in my Is PK Right For You video. I made all these predictions. I was like, listen, there's everyone... All the big content creators are jumping ship. They're leaving Planet Zoo almost entirely for PK. Um, and if you look, it, like if I just look at my uh, YouTube subscriptions, I see well, just today. Hold on. We have Drew is streaming PK right now. Rudy uh, uploaded a video four hours ago of PK. Savannah uploaded a thing about PK. Delady uploaded a thing about PK. Um, Thrive, I, he didn't upload a thing about PK recently, but I know he said he was going to be doing that. Estan released his live stream of PK, uh, Leaf released his Nasuda Ceratops build. So you're seeing a lot of, like, it, it really is like a, like, dominating force right now. And so if you're someone who just wants Planet Zoo content, I understand why you would be like, oh my god, just, just give me my normal PZ content. And so I definitely understand that. And that's why like, I was like, I, I mean, this is not going to be a standard Planet Zoo stream. Obviously, I'm working on something for Planet Zoo right now, but it's technically not exactly Planet Zoo. So that was the other thing. But I mean, you guys seem to be enjoying it. I, I, I always think that art streams are usually genuinely interesting um, in general, and people seem to enjoy them. Um, and so... Yeah, so let's subdivide that a little bit. So we're getting a, a little bit better here. Someone should make a mod that creates humans so you can imprison people and start. Yeah, uh, bring us Bigfoot. I was I did work on my Bigfoot mod for a Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve, and then that just never came out. So 
unfortunately, I did make a Bigfoot mod. It just never actually came out. Uh, what rig am I going to be using? I'm going to be using the Cayman. So the Cayman is going to make it so that its tail like moves back and forth like a propeller. And that should allow me to uh, get a decent enough result. Um, it won't be ideal. I wasn't crazy about the result myself on things like my Sand Tiger Shark mod. Um, I originally had it on the... Uh, what's it called? The saltwater crocodile, and it looked way better. But I made sure to swap it over to the caiman just because uh, when new species were being added, we needed something that was uh, from a DLC, just because you don't want to mess with Content Zero. And even if you did men uh, mess with Content Zero, from what I can tell, the saltwater crocodile seems to have some sort of weird naming issue, as does the uh, lion. The West African lion. For some reason, those two specific animals have issues. I'd love new extinct animal mods. Yeah, I mean, I'll... Because I'm not the... Like, I, I always have to say this. I'm not the biggest paleo nerd. So, I like dinosaurs. I like Cenozoic animals. I'm not the world's largest fan of them, though. Like, I, I, I like them on a, like, you know, base level. But for me, I still like extant species a lot more. Uh, what's funny, I'm not a big fish person either. I, I just think that um, do like almost out of obligation to the to those fans, the paleo nerds and the uh, aquarium nerds, I almost feel like I need to you know make mods like the whale shark and stuff just because you know Frontier seems to have abandoned you guys. They just went nope. There's no Planet Aquarium, there's no, um, you know, Dinosaur Game, you have PK now, you can deal with that. Um, and that is kind of a shame in my opinion, because I, you know, if, if that was, I mean, that was us for the longest time. That was the zoo community as a whole for the longest time, is just constantly being ignored, constantly being told like, oh yeah, oh, don't worry about it, you know. Eventually, there'll be a, a, a game like Zoo Tycoon or whatever. And uh, for the longest time, it just never came. And then when it did come in the form of Planet Zoo, it's like, okay, cool. But, you know, the paleo nerds and stuff are getting all this attention now because of, you know, JWE and uh, PK and stuff. Can we have any of that, like scaling and stuff? Nope. So, <laughs> so that's sort of where, um, you know... I, I understand why, like, aquarium nerds especially. You have Meg Aquarium, and that's it. And so, any little thing I can do like this, you know, just making a, making a whale shark, or making a sand tiger shark, or making, you know, whatever. I am happy to oblige. And again, like, I always have to say this, like, even though I'm not the biggest aquarium or dinosaur person i will make exceptions because i like all things I, I i'm not a one-trick pony who only likes exclusively zoo animals and that's it because whale sharks are cool i think everyone likes whale sharks so let's see uh yeah exactly uh just like leaf said you can basically change just about anything animal wise with the exception of the actual rig, which may not be the case anymore. I guess Hendrix said he's working on some theories right now after making a discovery with the wolf model that perhaps rigs are also on the table to be modified because I guess the bones of the uh, f male wolf use the female wolf rig as a um, modifier or a... Um, like a bounding box, I guess you could say, for pushing stuff aside. So perhaps we might be able to uh, explore that in the future, and maybe we can actually get something like uh, brand new rigs, which if we can get brand new rigs and brand new animations, oh boy. <laughs> like people think that like modding is insane right now. I'd be able to literally, you know, forget about slapping this on a Cayman. I could just make custom shark animations and stuff. Um, which would be completely awesome. So, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm basing this sort of off my basic and, my basic 
memory and uh, idea of shark anatomy on how the mouth and stuff should be displayed. Because um, they do have wide mouths, but they shouldn't really be visible from the front. However, I do actually need to maybe extend it out to the sides a lot more. So maybe like close to this. Just because I obviously made my Kano Stingray and my Shark, and they both have uh, my Sand Tiger Shark, and they both have very similar anatomy. Um, for for good reason, obviously all you know shark species and rays and stuff are all related, so they would have similar anatomy. Now I might have gone a bit too much with that. <laughs> now it kind of looks like the Joker. So I think what I might want to do is this. Just stretch the mouth a bit. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. So I'm still sort of getting the chewed gum vibe. So let's try to fix that. Let's add some mass to the top of it. Because another cool thing about whale sharks in particular is they have these uh, really cool, like, almost like sharp spikes going down the sides of them that look really, really cool. So I need to make sure I definitely get those situated. So, definitely getting smoother here. What's up, D-Dog? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're working on the whale shark mod today. Uh, as you can see, we basically have the basic shape down already. Um, that is the good news. I was kind of glad about like a whale shark in particular because uh, sharks and fish in general have uh, rather basic body structures. They have, you know, obviously just um, very simple, you know, it's a long tube <laughs> essentially. Um, and so that is kind of nice. So I will say that isn't too bad. Now let's try to increase. I'm trying to build up the mass a little bit where I can. Um, maybe shrink that a little bit. That ain't too bad. Dorsal fin needs to be a bit more defined, as do the fins. So the fins, let's let's work on them for a second. So the fins of a whale shark are massive. So let's actually kind of work with that a bit. So first things first, let's kind of stretch out one of the fins. Smooth out the angle, so that isn't too bad. I think I might actually go even larger though. So that is about right. Let's see what it is from the side. From the side, it's looking pretty good. Now they actually have fins that almost like cave in on themselves. So that's kind of another interesting little tidbit. So if we actually pull up my reference image here, if you actually look, the whale shark's fin, it basically right below, I guess, where the armpit would be, um, it actually has like a little cave in, and then it has like the little U. So we're trying to kind of replicate that um, the best I can. So let's try to do that. So here's the U, and then... We're working on that kind of triangle and it's a it's kind of a steep triangle so I do want to definitely take that into consideration it's very very pointy and you could definitely tell like looking at the fins of this where that kind of uh, like ray um, like stingray relative 
um, nature comes from, because it definitely looks like that. Um, does the current modding technique allow for custom statues? Yes and no. So is it possible? 100%. Has anyone done it? I've attempted it. I didn't, I was not successful. But Jesse did say he is going to be looking into it, and we, it is, it is definitely possible um, using the exact same technique that we used before. Um, so just, uh, just give it some time, but it definitely will be, uh, possible. So off the top of anyone's head, do we have any marine biologists here? <laughs> How many gills does a whale shark have? I know that a sand tiger shark has six. I don't know if whale sharks are the same or not. So if anyone knows off the top of their head how many gills a whale shark has, please do let me know. I'm counting one, two, three, four um, in my reference image. I'm not positive though that's totally um, accurate or not. So let's see, what do we got? Conversion evolution for it, yeah. I'll be back, yeah. I believe eight, four, five, five gills, five gills. Okay, so I've miscounted. So five gills, okay. Uh, so they're gonna be right below the eyeball, but before the front dorsal fin. So uh, let's just kind of work on that. So uh, I actually need my orb crack brush. So I, for my mods, and I, I probably shouldn't be using this particular brush, but since I come from a uh, background in stylized um, game art, I have, uh, I've fallen in love with the Orbs Cracked Brush, so, um, let's actually get a little bit more, yeah, there we go, that's a lot better now. Um, so the Orbs Cracked Brush, for those who don't know, because that's probably most of you, is this. So it is kind of a, it's essentially used for if you're making a stylized, um, creature or something. So uh, just as an example, let's say you're making... Uh, a thing that looks like Blizzard, you know, like World of Warcraft or something. You would use this Orbed Crack Brush set, which basically is just for stylized stuff. So if I wanted to add like a little dink in the shark or something, you add like one of these. So what I use just to get real, real definition in a lot of my stuff is I use this Orbed Crack Brush. Um, and so I probably shouldn't, like I said, but... Um, I just, I think it works rather well for getting that kind of definition that I'm looking for. So, let's see. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't actually doing the right side. Now it is, so that's good. All right, so let's see. So, I need a good reference. This one vaguely shows off the um, gills of the shark, but not super great. So let's see if I can try to get a better looking one. Um, so you can look with me. Give me a sec. <laughs> I know it'll, it'll just look weird if I'm just searching. So I'm looking for a good picture of the gills and where they should be located. So this vaguely shows it. So that isn't terrible. You can see one, two, three. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. So does it, I, 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 maybe that's just me. It kind of looked like one of the last one is on the back of the fin. I can't be sure though. That one kind of hides the gills. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, this is actually probably the best image I got. So this is from Forbes. Uh, yeah, sure. I disabled my ad blocker. Yep, definitely did. So let's zoom in. So here is our whale shark. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is what we want. So it looks like the first one is going to be approximately halfway up the face, and then the last one is going to be in about the first quarter of the um, 
the fin. So let's definitely take that one into consideration. So let's let's just mark out this last one really quick. So there's going to be the last one. And then let me pull up that image on the side. And so I'm just going to mark these. So second one, or this is the first one. Second one is going to be about here. Third one fourth one and seems about right so I will be sort of doing this a little bit because the gills do seem to be a bit long, like they dip in a little bit, and then the last gill is a bit shorter, because it doesn't actually go onto the fin. Um, and then similarly, we can actually add a little bit of uh, separation here between the fin and the torso, so let's do that. So there we go. That doesn't look too, too bad. Uh, is underwater keeper gate possible? Unfortunately, not to my knowledge. <laughs> um, I think Jesse said maybe it was, but again, uh, no actual uh, progress has been made one way or the other in that regard. So let's try to... Let's, let's hollow out this mouth a little bit, shall we? Just get rid of all of that flesh. All that we're just carving into the mouth, essentially. Because whale sharks, much like basking sharks, have these big old wide concave mouths. So, let's try to get that... That looks about right. All right. Um, what's up, Vicky? Welcome to the stream. We're working on a whale shark. Gotta love whale sharks. So where I put the eye socket, I actually think I went a bit too hard with it. So this is interesting. So, so from what I can tell, Whale sharks have kind of like this extra little bump right on their the front of their nose that kind of extends sort of like so. I hope it actually lets me do this. I might have to do this on a lower layer. Um, but give me a sec. So if we just go down maybe two subdivision levels... And you do this, essentially. There, There's just this defining kind of like ridge um, that separates the front of the face from the, I guess, middle or torso of the face. And then they have just down their spine, a very visible spine. <laughs> um, so we'll just kind of define that just a little bit. And then it looks a little weird now. If we go to a higher layer, though, a lot less noticeable. So I think we're, we're looking pretty good. So what do I want to work on? So the flipper, the flippers, <laughs> uh, like, it's a, like it's a dolphin or something. The fins have a little bit of a ridge. Uh, maybe I don't want to be on the highest layer just yet. But they have a little bit of a cut right here. Uh, it's very, very uh, barely visible, but it's there. Uh, right on their uh, fin. And so I just want to kind of define that a bit. And similarly, 
we want to just define that ridge a lot more um, between the flipper and the body. Did I call it a flipper again? I mean, uh, the fin. I keep calling it a flipper. It is not a flipper, it is a fin. So, that looks good. Um, that looks good, that looks good. I do want to do maybe one of these. They have a, they, they do have a strong brow bone, um, weirdly enough. So on the underside, it looks kind of like that. Up top, a little less noticeable. There we go. I think we're looking pretty good, though. I think we're definitely getting there. Definitely has the vague uh, shape that we're looking for. Uh, where do I download mods? You can find them on nexus.com. So if you go on nexus.com, I'll pull up a field trip again. So if you go on nexus.com uh, slash planet zoo, you can get all of the mods that are available. Uh, so as an example, today we got the Eurasian Lynx and the Scimitar Oryx by Level Wolf. There you go. They were in the chat earlier. Scimitar Oryx looks great. Really like this. Uh, yeah, I think it looks really good. So you can get that for your zoo today or the Eurasian Lynx, like I said. Um... We had the Hammerhead Shark kind of recently, as well as the African Leopard and stuff. So uh, you just go to this link right here, nexus.com slash planet zoo slash mods. Uh, you'll get a whole bunch of mods. And you can. And if you're looking specifically for uh, new species, look for any that says new species. And then you should be good. So, uh, yeah. So that's that, essentially. Oh god, what did I just do? Um, we'll add a little bit bigger of a, a gap in the mouth. Right about there. And then, this is me personally. I like to give make sure that the uh, bottom of the mouth on sharks and fish in general have kind of a more defined... Uh, lip. I think it helps separate, you know, some of the bigger openings and stuff. So, that looks good. Alright, I think it's time to give this guy some eyes. So, we need to find... <laughs> this is a good reference image right here. This is what we're going to use as our eye reference, everyone. So uh, make sure that you include <laughs> giant Pixar eyes uh, when making your whale sharks. Thank you. No, they have little, little beady, tiny eyes. And then they have little nostrils. Why do they have nostrils? Is that a thing? They're probably not nostrils. They're probably, they just probably look like them. They're probably just... Um... Yeah. So that's kind of interesting, actually. So where do I want to put the, the eyeballs? Like, I guess here? Would that be about right? Um, let's see. So... Let's just kind of... I'm going to orient my thing approximately where my reference image is. So if that's about that, our eyeball would be about there. But it'd be much smaller, so it'd have a little bump, a little bit of a bump, and then that's where the eyeball would go, and then the kind of sensors would be like right there, and then. 
looks like the mouth actually has a little bit of a like this thing. I don't know what it is exactly, but it looks like it's a little hangy bit. It's not really teeth, I don't think. It's just part of the mouth, but it like has like a little bit of a sharp dangly bit. Yeah, that looks about right. And then they have a little bit of a line that helps define their mouth a little bit. So let's just add that in. There we go. So I think that's about right. So, all right. So I think for the most part, front half of the whale shark is good. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for your donation. Uh, Cayman Lizard Mod. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the donation, though. So, are you talking about, like, turning a the Cayman into a lizard? Or, like, a Cayman Lizard? Is that a thing? Uh, looks like it is. Cayman Lizard. Uh, looks kind of cool, actually. Um, tell you what, that could be doable as a new... Tell you what, I might take in. Uh, I, I'll I'll make a note of that. I, I have a little file I recently did for my mod commissions. Uh, that won't be like it's all, like it, it won't be a you know oh this is definitely gonna be a thing, but um, I'm gonna definitely take that into consideration because that looks like it is definitely doable using the um, what's it called uh, blue tongue lizard. Uh, as a base, and since that is technically a uh, DLC animal, I think it could be perhaps a very doable new species exhibit animal. So, that could be very cool. So, I will definitely take that into consideration. The nostrils are lined with tiny barbs. <laughs> Oh, proto whisper. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Because I was going to say, I was like, I, they, they can't actually be real nostrils, right? Like, I figured that. I figured, like, knowing sharks, I was like, they don't have, you know, anything like that. But that makes a lot more sense if they're, like, sensory things, essentially. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a look in, at that. Because it actually does, it looks pretty cool. And it definitely, like, if uh, anyone isn't aware of what he's talking about, it's this thing. And this this definitely looks really cool. Um, and I think it definitely could be done using the blue-tongued lizard, like I said. I like the colorization. I think it'd be a cool little uh, exhibit animal. So I'll definitely, you know, keep that in mind. That could be really cool. So uh, back to... Back to the waters. We'll work on my shark. So let's see. So. Define this uh, dorsal fin a bit. So. Here is one of the biggest issues. Is the dorsal fin does not, believe it or not, have... Uh, this level of thickness all the way up. It's very, very thin. So we need to, for obvious reasons, kind of get rid of that. So just basically trim away at some of the uh, large, I guess, uh, fatness <laughs> that I gave it originally. So, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to change the body shape just a little bit. Just to better accommodate that. So that looks pretty good. Um, now, did I make this too small? I think I might have. So... That might be better. It's also, I think I also made it a little bit, because whale sharks have a very round, uh, kind of undefined, like, uh, dorsal fin. It's not really that 
uh, sharp or anything, or pointy, I guess. So I think kind of doing something closer to this might be a little bit better. Yeah, that looks about right. All right. We need to get address uh, another thing, which is the ridges. Like I said, so uh, whale sharks, once again, reference image time. Um, whale sharks have these large ridges on their uh, backs. Um, all sharks technically have them. I should mention this. But whale sharks, it's very pronounced. So if you look along their spine, you can definitely see these large lines. And um, these are just like large, like little pointy ridges and stuff. And so they're very, very prominent in whale sharks. So we have to include those. So I mean, we don't have to, but if I want to make it good. So you can see just literally by doing that alone kind of defines it a bit more. Now that was a shitty job, but <laughs> um, might want to go higher. So maybe sort of like this a bit. And then just smooth it out just just a little bit. Go in with trim dynamic, and we're just gonna kind of go along the ridge a little bit. So, maybe something like that, I don't know. I don't like how it's not really being sharpened. These, uh, what's up Goron, thanks for uh, joining here. Uh, no, I have a drawing tablet, so I have a, I have a Cintiq, a uh, Wacom Cintiq. Um, so, I'm using a stylus and stuff for this. It's almost like a must-have for any 3D artist. Like, you'd think uh, a lot of 2D artists would use it and stuff, and that is true. Because, obviously, if you're, like, an illustrator or something, you would want to use it. But, uh, yeah, definitely if you're, like, a sculptor or something, these are, like, a, a lifesaver. Um... And any, like, I, I remember, like, that was another thing is I've had a lot of people, like, say, like, oh, well, and I get away with just, like, one of those, like, $100, uh, whatever things. Came and lizards, uh, thank you for again, again, for the donation, Charlie. They require water like Crocs. I don't know if that could work. Um... What is the blue tongue lizard thing? Because I think I I want to say it just uses the desert one. If I can try to move it over to the jungle habitat, I'll have to see. Because if possible, I'd like to do that as well. I might I might be able to do a new exhibit type altogether, but I'd have to see. It's uh, what tool am I using? Uh, I got one of those cheap ones, and yeah, like um, they're fine. Uh, the like hundred dollar, hundred fifty, whatever, like little drawing tablets. Cause, uh, if that's what you're used to, that's one thing. Cause I, but once you get a taste of what a Cintiq is like, there's no going back. It's, it's so good. Um, and I, I've had a lot of people like say the exact same thing to me. Um, So let's see. 
I have to do the other fins really quick. Because I think we're, we might be pretty good with the model. I don't really have to go super, super crazy. Um, obviously, like, you know, the, the big defining things of a whale shark are going to be mostly relegated to the actual... Um, texture work and stuff. BTD. Oh, that ain't right at all. <laughs> I thought I was creating like one dorsal fin instead I was creating like two. Why is it sideways? Let's let's orient this. <laughs> I'm like trying to do this whole like dorsal or uh, I keep calling them dorsal fins. The like kind of back fins. I don't know what you call them. I'm not a fish guy. But let's just kind of do this. Stretch it out a little bit. Orient that just a bit, and we're good. And then we'll do BTD. Looks pretty good. All right, I can work with that. And then they have kind of bigger ones on the bottom side, so. That actually worked out pretty well. Okay, we're definitely getting there, so we're almost there. So next up, they have little little hangy do do lap things on the side over here. Most sharks do. I don't know what they're called, but I know they're there. So. move these out of the way and just kind of get them sticking out like so and then I think that might be it so I think this is all looking rather good I want to see if there's like anything I might want to do body wise on the bottom this little bit and more defined kind of neck and chest region at the muscle right there and then I think we might be good to do retopology so we'll shave down the sides right here and yeah so that that's about it so that is our whale shark um i will be adding the eyes in post so if you're wondering why it's missing eyeballs right now i will do that in a second so we are gonna export this as whale shark high poly and i will be switching my stream over to my main view so that i can actually check out the uh, retopology view in Maya. So, give me a quick sec as I migrate everything. What up, Joe Ventures? Gotta make a... <laughs> gotta make the caudal thick. <laughs> um, is it possible to add terrain texture without replacing the ones again? I don't think so. I think that might be a limitation we don't have. So, we might not be able to do that. I have been saying that though, like you're you're very behind on your mod re reviews, because I remember like someone said that they were like, oh my god, they just re they just released like episode eight or whatever, but like they didn't address any of the new species, so you have like probably like fifty or so mods at this point. Um, but give me a sec here, so. 
quickly. Oh god, I have a bunch of DMs. What the heck? Whole bunch of DMs. All right, so we are gonna switch over to uh, my new screen. So if we go, it should be default. Migrate this over. Cool. So we should be in Maya now. Give me a sec. There we go. Now we're in Maya. Woohoo! So this is the not so fun part of the live stream. Um, Reese apology. Not the most fun thing. So this is a, a, a necessary creating stuff, uh, especially 3D assets. However, it is, uh, it is not fun. <laughs> uh, essentially what I'm doing is, obviously the model that I just created had hun millions of polygons, essentially. I, I think, oh, actually it might have not been that many. I think we only had 600,000. But still, 600,000 would not run in Planet Zoo ra very well. So instead, what we have to do is migrate it over to Maya. And what we have to do is essentially uh, do a thing called retopology. So if anyone has seen my video on the... Uh, oh, please don't tell me. I just accidentally... I accidentally hit uh, export instead of import. Whale shark, high poly, ex import. There we go. They recognize that I made a mistake. So, here's what we're going to do. So, here is the whale shark. We're going to go in here, and we're just going to start retopologizing using quad draw, because that's basically the easiest way to do it. So, uh, first things first. We will do the mouth. So, mouth is usually the biggest pain. Mouth and eyeballs, that's usually the pain in the ass ones. So we'll do that. Not super crazy about how I just did that, but we'll go with it for now. And then I have to just basically... So what retopology is, at least the way I'm doing it. It is glorified tracing. I am in 3D space tracing over my uh, high polygon model and turning it into a low poly. So. And the best you can, you're, you want to use things called quads, which are just four polygons, so rectangles and squares and trapezoids and stuff of that nature. You want to try to get those as clean as possible um, because they just, they work better in game, so. If you can, you want to use them, so. And you want to use the least amount of polygons necessary to get your given shape. So as an example, I could maybe even use that polygon. I don't know how necessary it'll be. Um... I don't have to get stuff like the nostrils and stuff because those are going to be baked in using a normal map. So, uh, if you're ever wondering why, like, the uh, crocodiles in Planet Zoo don't have scoots, as an example, that is the reason. Is they're just using a normal map instead to bake that detail. It's it's not, at, like, obviously, you know, some bigger things, it, it's a, you know... You want to either figure out, you know, what needs to be defined with geometry, what doesn't. Um, so as an example, the inside of this mouth uh, probably doesn't need to be anything crazy. I can literally just kind of make a messy geometry or something for that. But, you know, for the inside of the face and stuff, I am going to want to uh, at least have some, you know, pretty decent geometry. So let's see. So we'll do this. All right. So let's just clean it up a little bit. You can uh, hit uh, shift and it'll like try to smooth your geometry the best it can. 
But yeah, essentially, like, I, I wish I could say, like, oh, this is a fun process. It's not. It's what I did professionally. I did this, but, uh, you know, this is a fun little, oh, I'm working on a whale shark. What I worked on was drones. <laughs> so, but not just drones. I was working on engines of drones. So it was making a lot of pipes, a lot of uh, just not, not fun things. <laughs> like, it was just pipes and wires, uh, brackets, that sort of thing. Not not that fun, <laughs> but uh, I, I did love that job. So so let's just kind of go in, and we're just gonna keep on tracing essentially. And then as we get to something like in this instance, the uh, the fins of this shark, we're going to want to do a little bit of side work. So we want to get the sides of the fins, of course, and just kind of wrap our geometry around them. So for instance, right here, I might want to define that a little bit. So we're going to have a little bit more geometry right there. Just trying to get that the best we can. And then, see right here? So this, I didn't actually get the full, um, the full thing, but we can just kind of modify my points just a little bit and get it. So there we go. And uh, yeah, we did work on some like military stuff. Uh, we had a lot of commercial. I, I can't go into details on the specifics for obvious reasons. Like you know, I was under NDA and uh, you know, big big government job. Well, it wasn't actually a big government job. It was uh, the the government licensed us to you know, like we had contracts and stuff. Um, so I can't go into the specific. I can I can at least say the basic stuff of I worked in the aerospace defense industry but i can't go into too many specifics beyond that <laughs> nick when are you gonna start doing animal race videos oh uh, probably you know I, I i'm thinking about doing a uh, pk animal race videos personally you know especially once the uh, pk modding takes off definitely want to want to get those race videos <laughs> so let's see But yeah, if anyone has any questions about like the game development process or anything, just let me know because, um, you know, it's what I did professionally. It's what I know rather well. So do uh, feel free to ask anything. If you want me to like, you know, kind of like, you know, talk about Frontier's process or something, I also know a bit about that. Uh, just from, you know, the reverse engineering of stuff. I feel like this should be somehow easier. Like, can it be automated? Uh, it sort of could. So, if I wanted to, uh, there is a... Uh, I mean, I can test it. We, we'll try it out really quick. Because there is sort of a way of doing it. It's called Ziri Mesher. So, um, it's actually what we used earlier. So, if we go down to Geometry, Ziri Mesher... So we're at 152,000 polygons right now. Um, I'll show a high polygon. I don't even know if I had the highest polygon version of what I want. Um, let's just do that really quick. So there you go, 611 polygons. So if we go down to the most basic version of this, it is only 2,000 polygons. So I could frankly use this model uh, if I really want. Which I'm, I may do. It doesn't look too bad. Let's actually do this. So Goron actually had a better idea. Just to save on time, we're gonna maybe use this pile, uh, polygon. So uh, let me just compare it really quick. So we're gonna import our new model. So there, there's, there are some automated ways to do it. Um, 
They don't always come out with the best results. In this case, I think it, it'll be fine for what we need it for, because... Yeah, this is fine. This is actually fine. Um, so yeah, this is the automated way of doing that. We still have to manually unwrap it, but that will at least take us to texturing a lot faster. So, um, yeah. So obviously, you know, right here, there's a lot of polygons that are unnecessary, but for the most part, we have essentially what we, uh, would have done, um, it would have had less polygons. It wouldn't have had like 2,300. It probably would have had only something like a thousand polygons, maybe, maybe less, maybe 600 or so. But um, obviously, you know, it doesn't really too matter. Would you rather make love to a mermaid with a fish head or a human legs with a fish tail and human torso? Huh. Do I want to answer that? Because this is, like, a thing that, like, you know, could get me in trouble. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the, the standard mermaid of, like, a human human head, fish, I guess, torso or body or whatever you want to say. Lower legs. Because, I, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be weird either way. But I think way back in the day, in my Wizard 101 days, I said I would, uh... <laughs> Give me a sec, hold on. Uh, Lady of the Lake, Wizard 101. There's like a, there's a, um, there's a video online of like me when I was like probably 13 or so. And I was like, look at this fine piece of ace. Like, like, cause like for some reason they made her like dummy thick, this character. Um... And so, yeah, I'd, I'd probably just go with, like, a standard mermaid. Uh, when props get figured out, we need taxidermy of every animal. I'd probably do that. Uh, I already did the grizzly bear taxidermy, and I really enjoyed it. It was just uh, a bit time-consuming. But I, I am definitely not opposed to doing that, of course. All right, so we are going to UV unwrap this. So open up our UV editor. First things first, I need to take the whole thing. Uh, we're going to smooth it. So soften edge. So everything's softened now. Next up, we're going to automatic unwrap it. So this is going to do the majority of the work for us, but we're going to basically undo everything. Um, so if we go to the UV editor. So this is what it generated. Um, which this, if you were in a pinch, would be totally fine. So if you were in a rush job in a professional studio, this would technically get the job done. But as you can see, this is disgusting. You do not want to try to make texture maps of like single polygons or like weird deformed shapes and stuff. So we're going to try to uh, fix all of this. So we're going to go into our UV editor and we're going to sew everything. It makes this jumbled mess. And now we're going to make our custom line cuts. So uh, UVing, for anyone who isn't aware, UVing is essentially, um, if you imagine taxidermy, right? You know how they have to cut up the animal pelt so that it, like, you know, is splayed out or whatever, like a, on a rug or something. And then they basically attach that onto a thing. Let's look up taxidermy uh, pelt. I don't know, as an example. So you might see stuff like this. So here's like a, a I know this is a bit morbid or something, but uh, here's like a like a derpy looking snow leopard or like you know wolverine. But they're all like splayed out like this. So we're essentially doing that with whenever you UV stuff. So I know as an example, like um, let's go into some of the files because I, I I know everyone loves seeing these and they always say that they're always like oh my god this looks so weird what the heck. Um, so let's, let's pick an animal. Tree kangaroo. Sure. So if you look at the tree kangaroo, same idea. You know, here's the, the body splayed out and it's just, here's the face, here's the body, here's the, the severed hands and the ears are on the side and stuff. So we're essentially doing the exact same thing. Um, and this goes for literally every animal ever. So river otters, as an example, same exact thing. If you look, here's the body splayed out, here's the head, here's the torso, here's the feet, uh, here's the nose. And so we're going to be doing the same thing with this whale shark. So we're going to be trying to splay it out. 
So uh, if we go here, uh, we have the arms kind of wrapped around. So we're going to uh, cut that really quick. So we just did a loop cut around the, um, the fins right there. And then in order to unwrap these properly, we're also going to need to uh, basically just uh, make a little incision right here. And we're literally going to be treating this, like I said, like it's a knife. And we're going to be cutting the skin out. So, it's, again, this is a super morbid way of describing UV unwrapping, but it's technically true. This is technically uh, how UV unwrapping is essentially uh, done. So... We're going to just kind of go around, in this case, the mouth. And we're just going to kind of grab all of these files. And we're going to cut out the mouth. Uh, so now... Oh, great. Did I... F let's, so let's undo everything I just did. Because I thought I had symmetry on. I didn't. So even though we cut one of the fins, it didn't cut the other side. So if we do symmetry, there we go. That should be good now. Uh, that's all wrapped up nice. And we'll just do the same thing we just did. Go to our UV editor, hit cut. Excellent. Now we'll do the mouth. So now it'll actually do the symmetry version of what we wanted to just do. Uh, we're going to cut. So now the mouth is cut out. Fins are cut out. Um, I'll be honest, that might be all we have to do for this. So, I'm, go I'm going to do uh, the fin the dorsal fin as well, just because I think it's a bit, um, it protrudes a bit too much for my liking, so we're just going to do that separate. But, uh, I would probably would have been fine getting away with it, but this will allow us to just get a, a bit more texture uh, quality. Um, that looks about good. So now what I want to do is uh, take the rest of the torso, right? And we're just literally going to go all the way down. And we're just going to basically chop up the tail. Like basically midway point of the tail. We're going to cut it. And now we're going to take all of our UV shells that we just did. And we're going to unwrap them or unfold them, I should say. So here we go. Here is our unfolded UVs. So looks a bit weird at first. Uh, I'm going to try to explain everything the best I can. So here are our dorsal fins. Here is our, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, here's our dorsal fin. Here's our side fins. Here's our mouth. Here is the rest of our whale shark. So if we go into this kind of checkerboard mode, we can see if there's any distortion. So as, as you see right here, there is a bit of distortion in the uh, tail. So we're going to try to uh, work on maybe making that less distorted as an example. So I might want to cut around the tail. So it looks like that worked just about fine. So uh, we'll go into our UV editor. We're going to cut that. And now I just want to essentially go in here, make a small incision around there. Maybe, maybe actually go the other way. That might be better. And then maybe even go a bit more. So we'll do that. So now we'll unfold again, modify unfold and see now the tail should be less deformed so we want a nice clean checkerboard across the board so there's a little bit of stretching here i don't think that's going to make too big of a difference uh but we have a pretty clean uv otherwise so we have pretty clean uh checkerboard patterns every everything everywhere so this is going to be uh, a pretty good uh base to start texturing on so um I'm just going to quickly just uh, orient my UVs so that they're all, uh, you know, properly sized and stuff. I think for the most part, everything is good. I might want to make the mouth a little bit bigger personally, but I think that's all good. That's all good. I'll be honest. We have enough pieces. I might be able to just get away with uh, doing, where is it? Orient shells. 
and then doing layout. Um, let's see, do I like this? It's not terrible, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, you know what, I actually kind of like this. I, I, I'm going to modify the layout ever so slightly, but for the most part, um, I think the only thing I want to do is actually, if I can, I'm just going to orient the whole thing. Just to kind of match the existing Planet Zoo format. Um, but for the most part, this is totally fine. So, once again, let me just quickly explain. So we have our first fin, our second fin, our dorsal fin, our tail fin, which will shrink a little bit, and the mouth. And this is our UV map. So. With that being said, we can bring this over to Substance Painter. So, we'll export selection. We'll call this Whale Shark Low. And we're going to jump into Substance Painter. We're actually breezing along with this Whale Shark process. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, this is doing great. So, let's catch up in the chat. <laughs> I can't believe you're making a freaking Whale Shark. It's epic. Thank you. Whale Sharks are epic. I'm not going to lie. Um... Uh, is this just general questions or? Sorry, hold on. I just we're gonna have to switch back over. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> so uh, give me a sec. So we are actually going to be switching back over uh, to my what I call the drawing setup. Uh, so we're in substance again. And so once again, I have to now move all of you <laughs> over to my other screen. I keep swapping between my things, but uh, so now we are back to my drawing tablet where we're going to be doing some texture work. So, uh, so sorry. Uh, so if this is part of the questions you actually answer, I'm literally going to obliterate in 19 pieces. I, I mean, again, if you, I, I don't know. I mean, like, feel free to ask any other questions. You know, I have no issue with that, obviously. Um, so let's see. So we need our whale shark low. We'll bring that in here. I think there's some overlap on the body and one of the fins. Oh, uh, is there? If there is, let me, let me verify that. Up oh, there is. Thank you, Goron. That would have been an issue. Uh, so now if I just move that... I'm just making sure. Thank you, though, for pointing that out, because I, I wouldn't have noticed until we would have been halfway into texturing, and then I would have had this issue. <laughs> but yes, that actually would have been an issue, because it would have meant that the textures would have been overlapping. So as I would have been texturing the body, it would have just started accidentally texturing the face as well, or whatever. Um, or the fin, I guess. Uh, whale, shark, low. Okay, we're going to import that. Uh, yep, so now this is our texture file. This is our whale shark. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start baking our high polygon that we made. So uh, we're going to go 2048 quality because we want to get a higher, higher uh, texture quality. And then we, if we need to reduce it down, we can. I believe Frontier uses 2048. T textures, if I'm not mistaken, but you know that that could be definitely a thing. Uh, let's see. I have to tell you, I quit my game de design education, but I like that your mods and respect you for. Yeah, listen, I I like. I, I might have been the top of my class in game design and stuff. I do sort of regret going into it a bit. I, I don't regret going to 3D modeling. I really enjoyed that. I just sort of wish that, like, you know, the game industry was a lot more practical than it actually is. Because even in modern day, a lot of people want to say stuff like remote stuff. It's so it's so easy to find a job. That's not necessarily the case. The, the game industry is notorious, and the film industry for that matter, for basically preying on um, the fact that you're making video games. And so... Everybody wants to make video games for a living. 
So they have just a constant stream of essentially children uh, or like people fresh out of college that want to get into the game industry out of like full sale or Cal like Cal arts, whatever it may be. And they can just jump into these studios, but there's so much turnover and problems and stuff. The game industry I've found, at least for me, was just not really a, a it, it wasn't going to be a fun time. Um, I would have had to leave New England, uh, which for all I, I always roasted about, I actually do really like it here. Um, I, I like the culture, I like the people, that sort of thing. But, uh, let me see. Sorry, my music got messed up. So, I, I you know, I, I like semi-regret, uh, you know, going into game design, but at the same time... I do enjoy the knowledge and stuff that I got out of it, so it's kind of a give and take. Um, all right, so this is going to be interesting. So I need to make a whale shark texture. So I'm trying to, at minimum, get the basic white down first. And then we'll kind of go into the blue and stuff. So let, let's just, let's imagine for a second this is like a fully done whale shark texture or something. So we are going to make this... a thing put that into that folder and now we're gonna do the bottom side of the whale shark so whale sharks um, have essentially white bellies let me actually go into here yeah so they have white bellies the underside of their fins are also white I think if I'm not mistaken they do have a little bit of white on their mouths and that kind of bleeds in sort of like so. And then pretty much the entire length of their body they have just a white underside to some extent. Already looking sort of like a whale shark already. So that's good news. So, should do something like that. Now, my, my chair is making like crazy squeakies. <laughs> you see this, I love your videos. I hope you can make a sloth or axolotl. Uh, I already did sort of make a sloth. I made it a prop. Um, I will eventually, when I, you know, feel comfortable doing custom scenery and stuff, I will be updating that one for sure because you know i love sloths um i just didn't think that i could practically make a sloth as a a, a usable animal because there's just nothing that would really be quite like it that would like hang upside down or anything and so i didn't see a purpose in really doing it um whale shark so here's the issue with whale sharks right Due to the fact that they're underwater, all of their patterning is always distorted by color. So, that could be a bit of an issue. If I was to do my process, I normally do. We'll see, though. That. And so this is sort of where, like, what do we think? Should I make it blue or should I make it black? That's the big question. Um, so whale sharks, if we look at, you know, whale sharks are technically black but in the water they seem blue. 
what do you guys want to see out of the mod? Would you rather it be tinted, like, like, you know, like, fake tint it to be blue so that it looks better in the water, or would you rather it be black and then... So I'll have to see. Um, did Radical Remake ever make a whale shark? I don't think they did. This person made a pretty good whale shark, though. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look like they did. Whale shark texture. This isn't bad. Uh, look at stranded whale sharks. Uh, beached whale shark. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. Like, they do have, they are black. I, kn I knew that was a thing. So probably work at that. Like, make it like that. Dark blue, gray, dark blue, black. Black, black, black. Yeah, I guess that would work. All right. Thanks for dropping by, Peter, though. Appreciate it. Um, dark blue. Make it dark navy. Halfway point. Gray. I could try that. Because using some of these, like, tech... Because, like, I don't mind this color. That's kind of a cool color. Um... I wish I could just, like, steal someone's texture sort of like this, but... At this point, it's like, why did I even bother making my own whale shark, you know? <laughs> like, I could have just bought it. Um... Huh... See, these are nice and all, it's just I don't have the full body. You know what I mean? Beached whale shark. Hmm. Top down. Because it's, it's just tough getting a texture. And I, I like... I'm trying to avoid, if possible, manually doing the pattern. Like, manually drawing each individual dot and stuff. Because that'd be quite annoying. Doable, but annoying. Um, might have to, though. To be honest. So let's see, um, so right off the bat we'll do sort of like what everyone was saying, we'll do kind of like a dark navy gray. Edges. That looks kind of cool. Looks like a great white. Not really a thing that I wanted, but... Um, the other thing I worry about is that it's just going to look like a figure. <laughs> like, a, like, literally, like, look like a, um, like, Safari LTD figure or something. What does the inside of their mouth look like? Would it be red? I feel like it's just hollow. I feel like there's nothing to it. See you, baby fire. Whale shark's supposed to be brown? What? <laughs> Did any of you know what color a whale shark is? I'm getting like all sorts of crazy funky colors. Because they're definitely gray. I know that's what they, they are like a grayish black with white spots. Um, that is just the situation. I need to see them with their mouth open though. Whale shark mouth open. 
So their mouths are basically completely white with black. So we could definitely, definitely work with that. So I'm literally just going to make it so that there's a black. And then inner mouth is just going to be actually just black. And then it'll kind of taper out a little bit. So <laughs> into the void. The whale shark just opens up its mouth and then void. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, do I want it to be? Because I, I, I am like maybe that color. I think I'd be fine with that. And then having this, I need to be a lot more or a lot less pronounced to begin with. So if I did something like that, that's not terrible. The underside of the whale shouldn't really be too different. Yeah, I think I might go with that color. And then for the white, we need to make it so that it's a lot less apparent that, you know, I'm just using some smart materials. <laughs> So we'll do something like that, and then maybe um, probably get rid of that one. That light, I don't really mind all that much. Occlusion color. Let's just honestly get rid of it a little bit. I think the other thing is like maybe I don't want it to be pure white, maybe like like an off bluish white, sort of like that. That might work a little bit better. I can't believe you guys are like this enthralled in me making a whale shark though. That's the other funny thing. I guess you guys like really like these things. Uh, gills have clear space, but uh, dig behind them. Well, so the the other thing is. Um, it does have a normal map, so you definitely will be, you will be seeing that. I mean, I could definitely, if you want, add a little bit of black to really define them. Um, I have no issue with that, but we'll see. So, like, um, where, where is it? Turn off middle, turn off normal, turn off height. See, so yeah, I like, could do this. So all this is doing is, like I said, just defining those gills a bit more. It definitely does seem to help, though. Give it some eyeballs. Uh, am I really going to do it? Am I going to make all the things manually? <laughs> Whale shark. Uh, I'll do this really quick. I'll just see how long it would realistically take. Like if I was if I was to be crazy enough to entertain the idea of doing this manually, I'll just you know you know, look look there's little dots everywhere you know da 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 da, da. Hey, yep it's a whale shark a lot of whale shark dots they have little spots everywhere do 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 do, do. all over all over the body.
some bigger, some are smaller, but basically it's all just dots. And they also have a couple like little little shimmer bits that aren't really, you know, the bright white, but they are there. And then these kind of follow the angle of those. <sighs> do I want to do this? Okay. What does everyone think? Should I manually go in and do this? I don't know. Do I want to go in and manually add every individual spot? <laughs> We'd be here a while. I'm saying, I'm just telling you guys that right now. We would be here a long, long time if I go in and do each of these spots. It's doable, but I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not. Though I'll be honest, here's a here's another option, right? I'm just gonna make it real quick. We're gonna do a real quick job. I, I have an idea. There's no way I was gonna do this start to finish today, right? I think we all knew that. So here's, here's my proposal. I'm gonna do a real rough job with these textures, right? So here we go. So I'm adding all the spots to the whale shark. Vaguely looks like a whale shark, right? Uh, we're gonna add in some more of the little, like, you know, s swirly bits. We're gonna add in some more of the little dashes and stuff. This is gonna be a Simply Zoo shark. This is like a Mega Aquarium shark, right? Not really a Planet Zoo shark, but it is a, like, you know, it's recognizable as a whale shark. So, what I'm thinking of doing, just, just so that we can try to see it in game, I'm gonna um, just quickly do a kind of half-assed texture right now, and then I want to try to get it in game. So we're gonna just try to get it on the Cayman so that we can try to see it in game by the end of the stream. So like I said, you know, uh, probably won't look the best, but you know, just kinda work with me. Cause obviously, Doing each of these manually would be absolute hell. And I don't think I want to do that, you want to see that, etc. And so, in order to get a good texture, we could be waiting a bit. But, what I can do at least, is show you guys vaguely what it might look like in-game. So let's just call it at that, right? Let's say this was my completed whale shark texture. It's definitely not, very work in progress, but uh, I think that looks, you know, it's recognizable as a whale shark right now. And so let's make a folder, call it whale shark. So let's try to get it in game. All right, so let's see, here we go. Uh, <laughs> whale shark spots. Uh, if you can get a texture, it could work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is just the Planet Zoo music. It just switched to the normal music, the Planet Zoo theme and stuff. Now it'll probably give you the Africa music and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Cayman. Uh, uh, will you upload to Nexus and re then replace it later? I could. I could do that if it looks good. But we'll have to see. So uh, here's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to call it at that. So now we are going to need to load up uh, Blender and inject it so so hopefully i don't have an issue with this mod because lately any mods that have been using custom models for me have been having issues i don't know why but that seems to be the issue uh so we're going to use the 
dwarf came in mail. Unpack it. We're gonna go to whale shark mod. Select it. Drag that in. Go to my OVL data. Grab a clean version of the Cayman when I inevitably mess this up. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that. Uh, D drive, go to shark mod, whale shark, shark mod, uh, whale shark mod, add a clean folder. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. So, once again, <laughs> I know I keep flipping between screens, but uh, we're gonna once again do it again. We're gonna go, uh, Default, swip, swap it over, give it a sec, it's gonna be black for a second. Now we're on here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load up Blender. We're gonna go into File, Import, MDL2. Uh, we're gonna find in my shark mod folder, the whale shark mod, open up the Cayman. So this should be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, isn't it? So what we have to do is we have to take the caiman and uh, weight the shark onto it. So, so yeah, so here's the thing. So I would love to use the crocodile. I can't. I'd love to use the crocodile. The crocodile though, Jesse said is off limits. The, the crocodile and the lion specifically are off limits from what he said. He said, if possible, use the caiman. Uh, even the Cayman technically is not a good rig to work with. There's a lot of, especially if you're, I'm turning into a new species eventually, it's not fun. There's a lot of issues with the Cayman and the Crocodile. Naming wise, it mostly comes down to the fact that the, uh, whoever worked on those files did not obey any of the previously established frontier naming convention. So as an example, let's just take any random animal, let's say the Bonobo. Uh, the bonobo uses the naming format format bonobo underscore female underscore skin. Similarly, elephant. Let's say the Indian elephant. It would be Indian elef Indian underscore elephant underscore female underscore skin. The uh, jaguar is jaguar underscore male underscore skin. That is just the format. However. Frontier, uh, you know, whoever worked on the Cayman decided to name some of their stuff Cuvier underscore dwarf underscore Cayman underscore female underscore whatever. But then sometimes they just name it Cuvier's dwarf Cayman all at once underscore female. Sometimes they name it just Cayman underscore female. Sometimes they name it dwarf Cayman underscore female. Sometimes they just name it Cayman without female at all. It's an absolute mess. Like, I don't know why, but we discovered all of this when Jesse and I were working on my Sand Tiger Shark mod. Whoever did the Cayman naming convention butchered it because there's no consistency at all. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, and then I guess the crocodile is the same thing. The crocodile has a lot of issues, and so Jesse was saying don't use it if possible. I'll have to see. Maybe I will eventually. It's just I already have enough issues when it comes to, like, you know, doing certain mods. So I don't want to make it anything crazy. Um, so, yeah. Gariel would maybe be better. I don't know. Um, I think it's easier just using the Cayman by default, though, because it avoids the issue I would inevitably have where I'd be importing the Cayman or the Garial OVL into the Cayman folder regardless. So if there was another Crocodilian in a DLC, um, that'd be awesome. So if we got like an American Alligator or something in like a North America DLC, that'd be phenomenal because that would mean we'd have hypothetically a lot less of an issue uh, doing these kind of fish mods and stuff. Um, these work, obviously. But, um, yeah, obviously there's some issues that are just kind of a nuisance. But for the most part, here we go. So, here's our whale shark. All we have to do is essentially just line up the proportions. So that's about right. I might actually go a bit further up. And we're just going to wait it so that the tail just wiggles. 
So as the tail kind of moves, the whale shark's tail is going to move. Um, so that'll be awesome. So uh, now next step. So I'm, I always raise my uh, animal that I'm going to be replacing uh, right above just because I'm going to have uh, a fun time in a second. So what I have to do to make sure everything is all set. So first things first, it, I need two UV groups, one called UV0, one called UV1. So we have to add one called UV0, UV0, and one called UV1. So right off the bat, that should be good. So next up, so now that that's settled, I can combine these two. So I can click on these and join. So now these are all part of one mesh. So next up, next step. Uh, I like to do the waiting process at this step because I can cross-reference it with the Cayman. All right, see you, Joe. Thanks for uh, dropping by. It's been a fun fun time. Can someone make a big-ass goldfish? Uh, someone could if they really wanted to. Uh, so like I said, yeah, they, I mean, the lion and crocodile are messed up because of the naming convention and specifically because they were two of the very first animals developed for the game so the lion i believe was the very first one developed for the game the crocodile being maybe the second so they have some kind of really weird the lion actually has like the weirdest stuff as an example because like even its thumbnail pictures and stuff are different dimensions than every other animal in the game so it was clearly like a test animal that eventually became an official animal. Um, so, hopefully that, you know, kind of explains things a bit. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. So, first things first. I'm gonna wait everything that isn't the tail to the chest. I don't know if the chest is the best area, but I think that should be fine. It will wiggle. I'm not going to deny that. That's going to be an issue. But hopefully uh, it'll look presentable is the goal. When is texturing? I already did texturing. Well, at least vague texturing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be texturing it a lot better off camera. But um, we uh, quickly did a... A uh, quick little pass, so it's vaguely textured. It, like I said, it looks like a figure right now, like a toy you would have, but um, it's uh, it's good enough to demo it off in game for everyone. Because I know the stream's been going for a bit, and so uh, I want to, you know, hopefully have something to show for it <laughs> at the end of you know anything, especially for anyone who maybe isn't watching this live, is going to be watching it later on or something. Um, they probably want to be like, okay, we'll skip to the end. I want to see what the final product is. Um, and so it won't be the final product, but it'll at least be something that resembles a final product. Um, so we'll do point 0.1, and we're just going to... Just try to get it as good as possible. So now, the tail. So... Tail one, we're going to have it be approximately here. So I don't want it to be too far off uh, from anything else. So that's tail one. Tail two is going to be roughly here. Um, and I, I, I will be uh, messing with this to make it a lot nicer and stuff uh, as we go. But for now... I think this should be fine. So maybe I just do tail four with this or something. And then I will just blur it, really blur it, you know, blur the line of like what's tail three, what's tail four. Um, same thing here, just blur what's tail 2 and tail 3. Uh, blur what's tail 1 and tail 2. And what is the hips and not. Um, blurring is your friend. It'll kind of, you know, make things a bit more 
a bit better looking, I'd say. So we'll do that for now. I think that should be fine. It'll maybe be a bit janky. I'm not even going to deny that, but it may work just for demo purposes. So next up, we have to delete every polygon except for one in the Cayman. So we'll delete all of you, all of you, all of you, most of you, and most of you. And we'll leave one polygon behind. And we're going to actually move it into the body a little bit. Next up, we're going to take our newly completed whale shark and just slot it into where approximately the caiman was originally. And we need to do something about these eyeballs because we don't want eyeballs poking through our whale shark. So we're going to delete one of them, delete most of the other one, and leave just, just a little bit of a thing right there. And that should be fine. Um, so now we want to just copy this, paste it. So we're going to have a little baby whale shark for this uh, demo purposes. Um, so I will be warning everyone this is going to be a little baby caiman sized whale shark in the final product. It'll be an actual, you know, whale shark. And the other thing that I want to warn people about right now is the whale shark is also likely to have, um, uh, it'll, it'll probably turn into a caiman at a distance of, uh, far away. At a distance of far away, it'll turn into a caiman again. Actually, no, we'll fix that. We'll make sure that it's at least looking like a, a whale shark through and through. So. So it'll, it'll definitely look like a whale shark. Don't you worry. Add a decimate modifier. Cool. All right. So we'll do this. So now we'll export it. And then this will be the model. And then we want to turn off edit bones, apply transforms, and vertex colors. I had a feeling that might be a thing. So add a vertex color. Or actually remove a vertex color. And we might be doing this for a little bit, just playing with the what it likes, what it doesn't. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it actually is fine with it. So this could be a lot faster than I originally thought. So that's kind of cool. Hi, I'm somewhat new around here. I thought I'd pop in the chat, kind of stalk in the stream since it started anyway. Uh, but you're doing some great work and nothing's gonna, uh, but nothing's gonna to your main wolf in my opinion. Oh, oh, nothing's gonna top your main wolf. Yeah, my main wolf is phenomenal. I, that is easily my favorite mod, um, that I've ever made. So I really like my main wolf. Um, which speaking of, um, I've actually been working on updating a lot of my, uh, so to make the main wolf even better and so that more people can enjoy it worldwide. I have been working with a team of translators uh, within the community to basically try to uh, get my main wolf uh, to as many people in their localization as possible. So right now I have uh, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Swedish, Danish, German, and all done. So those languages are done and Polish and Italian. I have people working on it right now. So once I get probably those two final languages, I'm going to just package them all up and then uh, we'll have about, you know, 10 or so languages available for the main wolf so people can enjoy that. So I think that'll be awesome. Um, is it possible to make the whale shark big? Of course. Oh, Gora, if you could do Dutch, that'd be phenomenal. I, I'd love it if you could do Dutch for me. Um, just because, like, the, the more languages I can get it to people, the better. And then um, after I do the main wolf, I actually put a patch out today for the, um, what's it called? The uh, River Otter. Uh, and so now the whiskers are working properly. I made it dummy proof now. So beforehand, I originally had a folder where you would download the mod and it would be called North American River Otter. Uh, actually, I think someone just said that uh, in the chat. They were like, oh, your river otter's invisible uh, to me. 
uh, you installed it wrong. That's what that means. So I made it, if you download the newest patch, if you install it the same way you did originally, it should work now. Um, what I did was originally when I made the mod, I had a folder called new, uh, North American river otter, new species mod. Inside that folder, I had the actual folder that you would need to extract the Riv Otter folder, which should be eight characters, and a readme on how to install the mod. Ironically, a lot of people were following my tutorial, and so using that tutorial, they just assumed that all mods would have the same format of just extract the folder and then that's it. They didn't realize that, yes, you extracted the folder, which is correct, but inside that folder is a second folder that is the one you actually needed to put in your OVL database. So that was a misconception. I've made it dummy proof now, and the new thing, it's I didn't, I didn't include a readme, I didn't include any other extraction thing. All you need now is just the Riv Otter folder. So um, for any future reference, I should mention this. Uh, and I probably wanted to make a video clarifying this. If you ever get a mod, a new species mod, and it has a folder that has more than eight characters exactly, it is wrong. More or less, I should say this. If it has more characters or less characters than eight, y your mod isn't going to work. So as an example, uh, Euro Lynx is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. The Riv Otter is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 characters. And it's because we had to match up the same amount of characters as the other content folders. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 characters for content 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, etc. Um, same with game main. It's also all content folders need to be 8 characters exactly. If you see a folder that's called North American River Otter, etc, that is wrong. Try to check inside that folder. Um, there's probably another one that is eight characters. Same thing, I, I know the Malayan Tapir, I know it's been taken down now, but that person had another folder that was called like Malaysian Tapir mod or whatever. Inside of that was like Malay tape. So like, you, you just uh, take that into consideration. That is probably the number one issue I'm seeing with a lot of um, mod failures. So if you ever see invisible thumbnails, um, animals etc it's likely that if it's just your text that's invisible that could be an issue with the modder just not uploading a localization in your language most of us at this point have realized to do that but um some people who might be new or whatever might forget to do that so uh just take that into consideration that's just a little like self troubleshooting you can try to do um on your own but uh let's get back to uh working on this caiman so I feel, I, I'm just going to do the base color right now, because I don't feel like I need to really um, do anything crazy or anything. I think the normal map and the base texture should be fine. So I should also mention this. Uh, whoever worked on the Cayman is definitely new, because this is also, if you see the, the substance painter texturing and stuff, they have this black outline. That is not standard for most uh, Planet Zoo files. I think I've only others seen it in the doll sheep. Um, as another example, so uh, take that into consideration. That could just be a different developer or something that worked on those specific mods. So we're gonna go into our whale shark folder and we're gonna drag in our whale shark texture. So there we go, that's our whale shark. Up close in HD, it looks just like a toy. <laughs> um, so that looks good. Uh, wait, so what if hypothetically we ever got a 10th DLC? Frontier couldn't make content 10? Uh, we could. That is, that is possible. But, uh, so if and when we got to content 10, as, as you mentioned, what would happen is that the game would register it for that. It's not like, oh, you need to be eight characters or else. It's a situation of because the... Um, amount the folder that we're basing our new species mods are on are from folders that are already eight characters we have to obey that same amount of characters so say we had a hypothetical content 10 let's just make a, a folder right i'm going to explain this just just for you know sake it's, it's better demonstrating than not let's say we eventually get content 10 right so this is now nine characters 
So let's say in content 10, uh, we got a meerkat, right? As an example. Uh, so we're making a meerkat mod. And I want to make a new folder that is a uh, mongoose, right? I want to make a mongoose. So when I'm making my folder, I would instead of typing eight characters for the mod title name, I'd need nine characters. So I'd do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, this would work really well for that, but I'd have to do one more character because it's now using content 10, which would be a nine character thing. So I hope that explains it um, well enough. I don't know if that helps, but yeah, we're basically just trying to match the characters to whatever frontier has their official characters to, which up until this point, like I said, has been eight characters just because they always do content one, two, three, four, five, etc. Uh, that could change. I, 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 that could definitely change. But as of right now, uh, that has been the situation. Uh, I just have to flip the normal map because for some reason, whenever I uh, use substance for creating my normal maps, it always makes them flipped. I don't know why. It's kind of a weird thing. But um, yeah. So where is my... Where's my thing? I had my Cayman folder a minute ago. I keep getting distracted. So whale shark, nope, that's not what I wanted. This is the issue is I type in shark and now my whale shark folder comes up instead of my shark folder, <laughs> which is where I keep all my mods. I don't know if anyone like has been uh, active on my streams and stuff. I keep all of my folders in a folder called shark mods, which is not, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> It would make more sense to call them Nick's mod files or something or mods, whatever. I just call them friggin' shark mod because that was the first mod I was working on when I made that folder. Um, so I definitely need more organization in that regard. So that's good. So those are the two main files. Uh, I'm just going to quickly wipe out the ambient occlusion. I'm going to keep roughness the way it is. Um, I don't think it should be too big of an issue. I might just average out the roughness, to be honest. It might be better for our purposes. Um, so, yeah, let's just do that quick. Just to make sure it all looks good. Because we're probably going to have some weird funky tail movement and stuff as is. So, if we can try to eliminate, you know, any other graphical issues that would make this look disgusting, that would probably be great. So I think we have just one more file um, to remove, and then we can load up the game, and that would be awesome. So let's just replace all of these files. And like I said, it's going to be an itty-bitty little whale shark. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate your donation. Always glad to have you on my channel, and you are always active on my stream, so thank you very much. I need to get a good... I, I, one of these days, I need to, like, work on some nice graphics for my stream and stuff. My, my stream is so amateur for, like, how intelligent I am at, like, you know, making nice-looking things. Like, everyone else asks me for advice on, like, oh, hell, can you help me with, like, uh, oh, I need an auto-clicker for this. I need you to write a script for this. Can you model this? Can you do uh, this video editing technique or whatever? I do all of that, and yet, like, my streams look like I'm, like, an amateur, like, YouTuber or something. So, <laughs> I've been doing this for, like, now... Uh, not not Planet Zoo related, but even Planet Zoo related, I've been doing it for a few years. Um, but as far as, you know, YouTube goes, I've been doing this since I was, like, 10. So, <laughs> uh, so here we go. Content, crocodiles, Kugir, Sorf, Cayman, Mail. Yes. So, let us uh, load up Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo. And hopefully, if all things went well, we'd have a whale shark. We'd have a baby shark. Do, 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 do. And again, I want to thank everyone for uh, liking this video and just watching my stream and stuff. You guys have been awesome. I, like, you guys have been pretty consistently well above 100 viewers, which is crazy. Um, and like I said, you guys are basically confirming my theory that 
as much as everyone said they wanted PK, apparently they still really like Planet Zoo content. They just wanted something fresh. So, um, so thank you again. Uh, I will continue to do this stuff. You guys have essentially given me a lot to think about um, with what content you guys like. Here's my whale shark. Look at it. It's derpy. I think I might have forgot to remove a texture. But let's just see what it looks like in the water. Hold on. <laughs> Look at the little shark. Aw. Isn't that adorable? All right. Time to sink. We need to make a little little water pond for for our little shark. What do we want to name him? What do we want to... His name is Raphael, but we'll name him something else. So, give me a sec. So, hold on. He's waddling in. Let's see him in the water. It lo I can tell already his tail looks good, though. So, up oh, there he goes. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Isn't that adorable? It's a little baby whale shark. Look at how cute that is. Oh, he goes on land. So, this is going to be a thing that, like I said, you know, we're going to obviously need to change the behavior. If I turn this into a new species... Uh, I have to turn this into a, uh, you know, I have to uh, modify some of the behavior and stuff to make it so that he only wants to hang out in the water, he eats from the aquatic feeder, he doesn't spend any time on land, etc. Uh, I want to see him dive, though. Like, that's the other thing. I think he looks good, though. I think I weighted the tail uh, pretty well on the first go-round. Uh, again, I think he's too shiny. He looks like a, a Safari LTD thing. He does look really cute. I will say that. And he does have some of the Cayman um, textures, so I, I can definitely modify that. But I think overall, I think this, I would call this a success. I think this is, like, really good. I just want him to dive, though. Let's try to get another one in. Kuvir's uh, Dwarf Cayman. Add another male. We'll get a couple new Cayman. And so that'll technically... Um, spawn in those so this is the other thing i had someone comment uh just as a little, little side uh this is the the lynx mod this is the baby lynx um that i was talking about earlier um someone was reporting that there's apparently an all white lynx that is a glitch or something i haven't experienced that myself everyone who's had the lynx is reporting the lynx mod works totally fine uh but if anyone is aware of like what they could be talking about um that'd be great because I'd love to know that. Here we go. Look at him. It's a whale shark. It's a little baby whale shark, but it's a whale shark. And he's happy. This is a little happy camper right here. Look, that looks really good, right? Or at least it looks about as good as the other current shark mods available out there. So, um, that looks pretty cool. Um... Ooh, so there is a bit of an issue right here. I don't know what's up with that. I'll have to check that out. I don't know what that could be exactly. I don't know if the geometry is messed up or what, but... Did I accidentally delete some polygons, maybe? I think that... Yeah, I did. I accidentally deleted some polygons. Needless to say, like, by the time you guys get the mod, it's going to be a lot better looking at anyways. Um, and, uh, too bad the fins are so stiff. Yeah, I know. I mean, I could try to make it, you know, I, 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 I could weight them a little bit to the arms, but I don't know how well it would look. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it again. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to see. And like I said, I mean, this hole is my fault, so don't blame that. Um, just look at it from this side. This looks way better. Um, so yeah, I think, I mean, it's about 620 now, so um, I, 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 that's essentially, I, I don't want to go too, too much longer with the stream. I might want to go a little bit longer uh, if people are enjoying it. Um... Oh, look at the little kitten. It's drowning. Oh, no. Don't drown, little kitten. I, I love Marigy's Lynx. It looks so good. It's probably, like, one of my favorite mods. If not, like... Probably my, my favorite non... 
what do I want to say? Like, yeah, no, it's probably just one of my favorite mods. <laughs> I was going to say, I think like my main wolf is probably topping it, but I still really like this mod. It just looks really good. The only thing I have an issue with is like the eyeballs are a little bit cross-eyed on some of them, but for the most part, they look pretty good. Um, you have to get them in the light, but yeah. It looks good. I like the little tufts on the ears. They did a really good job there. Um, could you make koalas spend all their lives in trees? I could do that. Um, I don't know if I would want to, just because um, that could have some other issues. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. That's what I was working on. Because if you're wondering why I have koalas, I was working on updating my tree kangaroo mod to be a new species so um look at the whale sharks though they look so good i like that whale shark might be one of my new favorite aquatic mods out of the out of the two others that are available currently i mean actually no we have you know i have my beluga and stuff i internally i have let's see we'll look at nick's internal thing so i have my african penguin which is having issues right now my beluga, which I want to wait until I figure out how to change the speed of animals before I update that. Because the beluga mod looks phenomenal. My only issue is it moves way too fast. It's way too fast. Um, Chilean flamingo. I mean, I don't know if I count that. Count of stingray. I'm waiting for scenery mods. Uh, Harbor seal. I find it's a bit redundant now that we have on Nexus. Someone made arguably a much better harbor seal. Um... I'm not a fan of the texture they chose for it, but the model looks way, way better than any of my, like, Harbor Seal ever was. I think this is a really cool-looking Harbor Seal. I just don't like the texturing, but that's just a, a personal preference, of course. Uh, what other mods do I got? I have the Manatee mod. That's a work in progress. I was having some issues with it. It was causing crashes. I don't know why, but, you know, that was an issue I was having. The Mecharoo mod. So this is a mod that I was working on uh, for April Fool's Day. I don't know if I'm still going to get it out in time, but I was trying to get the Mecharoo mod out in time so that everyone could enjoy it on April Fool's Day. When in doubt, though, um, NDP actually released the their uh, Killer Penguin mod, and that looks just as good as like an April Fool's Day mod. Like, look at this. This looks great. I love it. It's got fangs and the big eyebrows and even the babies are pissed off this is such a good thing and i love the trailer he put together for it it's really nice uh and he actually got his um uh education signs work actually let me oh never mind because I, I just closed it out but i was gonna say like i don't know if uh, that was a thing or not um so what was i gonna say oh yeah back to my other work in progress mods and checking those out uh so mecha room mod like i said that's a work in progress godzilla mod uh same thing if i can try to get it out in time for godzilla versus kong that'd be cool um but we'll have to see um river otter i just released that's fine uh, my new species alpaca mod I've released, but it's having an issue where it crashes on research. Same goes for my new species dromedary. So those are being worked on right now to try and get a patch out so that they no longer crash your game. Similarly, the dromedary camel has an issue where the baby camel, uh, its neck deforms horribly. And so I'm trying to uh, fix that. Jesse gave me a solution. He was like, maybe you can replace the luas with the, dr the actual camel lua, and that might be able to fix it. I'll have to see about that. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be a thing. Isn't Godzilla vs. Kong already in theaters? Depends on where you live. In the States, at least, it's being released on the 31st. Or 30th. One or the other. 31st. It's releasing on the last day of the month. And uh, it's going to be same day um, HBO Max as in theaters. And since so many theaters are closed, HBO Max is probably going to be the way to go. Uh, sea Turtle mod I could update. I don't know if I will. It was just meh. <laughs> um, now the walrus mod is another thing I was maybe working on. Uh, tree kangaroo, obviously, that's that's a given that I'm going to eventually update it. And then here's my other long list of mods. American black bear is definitely up there on my priority list. Um, 
as is the what's it called um uh syrian brown bear leaf said he would help me out we have a lot of people uh specifically from israel who really want the syrian brown bear on my server and so um leaf offered if he wants uh he'll do the new species coding and i just have to make the model and so i think i might take him up on that offer so that we can get the syrian brown bear out but i wanted to work on the american black bear first and foremost so that was going to be a thing uh the raccoon mod i want to update once the binturong uh rig comes out uh with the dlc so that should be fun um similarly i am working on a ton of the monkey species for roger williams so golden lion tamarin howler monkey yada 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 all of those are coming just uh please be patient same thing the episodes for roger williams are not dead i am just taking a long long time to get those out um and so you know that's just a little bit of a you know where i've been at uh with my stuff um so let's just quickly reload planet zoo i just want to test out something real quick uh, i want to see a thing about um if possible if my education signs are working or not because <laughs> ndp got their education signs working and i know that was like a weird issue that was happening for a bit and so we're gonna try to let's just test it out right now so let's go to would it be facilities education sign so from what i hear the the boards work it's just the 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 ones that have stands don't work so if i try this eurasian links okay so that is missing so that's missing and so i assume um oh well i guess do I even have... <laughs> I'm wondering if I even have any other mods installed. I wiped all my mods clean the other day. Uh, just that I can, like, cherry pick which ones I do actually want and stuff. Um, off the top of my head, I don't see any, though. I might have one or something. North American River Otter. So, say I was to get a River Otter. Would that sign display? Because, if possible, uh, that'd be cool if I can get that working. So we'll get a male North American river otter, spawn it into my zoo, drop it off. Um, I can actually pause it because I want to show off his newly figured out face with working whiskers that don't, you know, he has whiskers on both sides of his face now. So that's all fixed. So let's see. So giant otter, North American river otter. Oh, okay. I actually had that set to be the um giant otter so that explains it though all right so that's a duly noted thing or whatever but uh oh yeah sure i can take a picture of the shark or uh i have to spawn it in again sorry about that um actually here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go to uh, my aquarium zoo uh marine park <laughs> it didn't have a, a name so we just named it marine park but uh we can check that out. Can you put new vocalizations on the animal mods? We can. I don't. I haven't done it myself, but we can do that. I don't know what sound a whale shark would make. I mean, or we could just, you know, if you're talking about like for on, on another animal that I might have made a mod for, we can change those for sure, though. Aren't the ones with the stands just a blueprint that it's included with the board? Yeah, exactly. You'd think so, but it's not, apparently. Um, the ones with the stands apparently are like a totally separate entity altogether, and so it freaks out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna load up Marine Park, um, and, uh, we should have some little baby whale sharks swimming around already in my shark tank. There they are. Little, little whale shark. There you go. We'll get it in some good lighting. Hold on. I'll get I'll get I'll get some good lights. We'll go to lighting, we'll go to spotlight. Cause we gotta get some blue ass water, obviously. Well here's what we'll first do. We'll go into game filter. 
will go into my Oh, why does it not want to do it? Oh, that's weird. It wouldn't let me do my uh, Ansel while I'm streaming. But there you go. Plenty of time to take your uh, whale shark screenshots and stuff. Get one from the top down if you want. <laughs> Where did I even put my um, lights? Because everywhere where it has, like, these kind of green lights, I had, like, actual lights, you know, planned out. Uh, where... Oh, are they up here? Yeah. So if I... If we select all of these, we can maybe change the color all at once. Ooh, make it, like, deep blue. There we go. Get get some nice blue ass water. There you go. Take a nice screenshot if you'd like. Otherwise, you know, we'll let it swim around and stuff. Like I said, the texture very temporary. It looks disgusting. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to work on it off camera. But like I said, I think I'm probably going to end it uh, there. So thank you guys for watching. I am uh, Nicholas Lionrider as always. Um, if you would like to support the channel, feel free to do so in the link in the description. You can become a member. Um, $20 tier, you can become a Lionrider King member and you get access to me creating a mod like I made for just that right here. So this is a mod that I made for him. Uh, that would be a replacement animal. So I will, I, I will definitely specify that it is a replacement animal. Not all animals would be new species. This one I might make an exception for just because a lot of people want it. But um, past that, I want to just thank all of my existing members that I already have. So thank you to... Uh, sorry, this is going to be a hard name to remember. Alkalonex Sandy? Try to say that. That's, that's hard. But thank you. They're a Lion Rider King. I have to work on a mod for them. Super Forgettable, Vicky, Andrea, uh, Just That, Jader TV, Beyond Your TV, Leaf Productions, Mark Gorilla, and Andy, as always. Thank you all for supporting the channel. And if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, so thank you all for joining me. Um, usually stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and we're just trying to get some more Planet Zoo content out there, as well as PK. So I've been covering PK. Um, and yeah. I'm really bad at goodbyes. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. And peace.